When you're combining images into a photo composite or a design, you'll often use layer masks to hide and show parts of each image. In this tutorial, you'll apply your basic layer masking skills to combine two photos into a simple creative composite. This file has a forest scene on the top layer and a waterfall scene on the bottom layer. We'll add a layer mask to the top layer that will hide part of the forest so we can see down through it to part of the waterfall below. Start by selecting the forest layer in the Layers panel. Then add a layer mask to that layer by going down to the bottom of the Layers panel and clicking the Add Layer Mask button. Here's the layer mask. Remember that on a layer mask, white reveals and black conceals the masked layer. This layer mask starts out all white, so it's revealing everything on the forest layer. Let's add some black by painting on this layer mask with a soft brush. Go over to the toolbar and select the brush tool. Set brush size and hardness here in the options bar. I'm going to choose a medium sized brush and I'll make it relatively soft to get soft blended edges as I paint. Now go down to the bottom of the toolbar to the foreground and background color boxes. Usually when you have a layer mask thumbnail selected, as we do, you'll see white here in the foreground color box and black in the background color box. If you don't, press D on your keyboard to get that default color set up. Then press X on your keyboard to switch the foreground and background color boxes so that black is now the foreground color. And by the way, you can only get black, white, or shades of gray in these color boxes when you have a layer mask selected. In the Layers panel, double check that there's a white border around the layer mask thumbnail. And if there's not, click on the layer mask thumbnail to make it active. And now comes the fun part. Go into the image and start painting near the hollow of the tree. As you do, you're adding black paint to the layer mask. And that black is hiding the forest scene to reveal the waterfall below. If you take a look at the layer mask thumbnail, you'll see where you painted with black. If you want to bring back something that you hid, maybe part of the forest, just press X on your keyboard again to switch to white paint and paint over something that you hid. Continue to press X back and forth as you paint to switch between black when you want to hide the forest and white when you want to reveal the forest. So I'm going to switch to black again by pressing X and as you paint, you can change your brush tool options. For example, I'd like to make my brush tip a bit bigger to match this area of the tree. So I'm going to press the right bracket key on my keyboard a few times. The right bracket key is near the P key on your keyboard. Another useful option is brush flow, which controls the rate at which the brush releases paint. Lowering the brush flow up here in the options bar will let you build up shades of gray as you paint on the layer mask which will give you a more subtle look than pure black. That's because shades of gray on a layer mask only partially conceal, while black completely conceals. And I'll continue to paint, revealing more of the waterfall on the layer below the forest scene. Take your time refining your own mask so that your composite looks something like this when you're done. As you're painting, you can check your mask by holding down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and clicking on the layer mask thumbnail. Here you can see the black paint that's hiding part of the forest scene and the shades of gray that are partially concealing it. To close this view, Option or Alt click on the layer mask thumbnail again. So now that you have some practice using simple layer masking techniques to combine images, try them out on other images to make some creative composites of your own.